Ever dream of having your own personal retreat right in your backyard? It can happen. Convert an ordinary tool shed into a she shed. Actually, it can be a he shed too. We'll walk you through everything you need to know to build your own. First, check your local building codes or homeowners association guidelines. Some things to check on include shed size, foundation, and even color. Your she shed can be an upgrade to an existing shed or a brand new one. If you are building, pick a spot in your yard that's close to level. It'll be easier to set the foundation. The foundation can be a concrete slab with sill plates, 4x4s on masonry blocks, or for areas that freeze, 4x4s set on concrete footers below the frost line. Click below to watch our How to Build a Foundation video. When the foundation is down, the shed can go up. Kits come with easy to follow instructions, or they can be installed for you. The basic installation involves building the walls, adding the roof, installing the doors and windows, painting the exterior, adding trim, and finishing with shingles. Once you've built the shed, you can really start to customize. Sheds are designed for tool storage, where minimal light isn't a problem. A window is usually included with kits. However, you may want more light in your she shed. Consider switching out the regular doors. Get doors that are the same size or a little bit larger than the standard doors. The wall panels are usually pre-cut for the door openings, so going smaller won't typically work. Click below to watch our French door installation video. For even more natural light, add skylights. The installation involves cutting out and framing the opening, securing the skylight, and sealing tight with a flashing kit. Click below to see our skylight installation video. Next, finish things up inside. Installing permanent electricity isn't always necessary, but if you decide you need it, have a pro install it. Adding insulation is a smart move. It'll help keep the temperature just right and limit moisture buildup. Then install the drywall. Hang it on the walls and finish it off with some drywall mud, then sand. Don't install it on the ceiling if it doesn't have vents. You could get mold. Click below to watch our drywall installation video. After the drywall has been finished, it's time to paint. Use a paint and primer in one for the walls and ceiling. If you're painting the floor, prime it first. Then use porch and floor paint, which will stand up to traffic. For steps on painting, as well as helpful hints, click below to watch our painting video. To finish things up outside, attach lattice skirting to give the shed a little personality. How about a deck or patio in front for a finished appearance? A small floating platform deck will do. It's built on masonry blocks, so there's no need for post holes. Place some furniture, planters, and a few accessories to liven things up. And finally, the interior decor. For deep meditation in a tranquil yoga studio, keep your decor simple. Consider a water fountain to create a relaxing atmosphere. For a home office shed quarters, storage cubes will help keep files and office supplies organized. Perhaps you plan to bring out your creative side in an artist's studio. Slat wall is a simple way to keep all your tools handy. Or maybe you just want to sit back with a book in your private library. A few shelves and a comfy chair might be just the thing. When everything was complete, we built our shed for about $5,000. A simple shed converted into your very own personal retreat. To see all the how-tos relating to building a she shed, go to lowes.com slash she shed.